Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. Now one of the advantages of working in Chamonix is pro climbers sometimes drop in to say hello and our very own Epic TV athlete Stefan Gasolfi has come with his brand new van to come and say hi. Now we've chatted to Stefano about his life and climbing, so today I thought we'd talk about van life. Hello mate, how are you Hi. doing? You're welcome. Thank you so much. Can I, can I come and have a seat? Yeah, yeah. You can sit there. I'll be honest, when you said you were bringing your van, I sort of envisaged a sort of dirt bag climber's van with a sort of bed shoved in the corner. This is luxury. Yeah, we used to have <laughs> one, but... Uh, uh, then me and uh, my girlfriend Sarah were spending like around half of the year uh, around, so we we prefer to have a, a better run. So for you, your life is on the road because you travel to different climbing events and to different crags. How much of the time do you reckon you spend in a van compared to a house? Uh, I think uh, I spend uh, half of the year in my house and uh, the other half in the van. So talk me through some of the features of, of, of your new your new whip. That's what the kids say, right? So <laughs> what have you got in here that's, that's particularly cool? Uh, I think the best thing is uh, the, the picture here. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, so you've got all the pictures of you, you and Sarah climbing there yeah. and down the end. It makes the, the van very comfortable and uh, fits like at home. Mm -hmm. And then you've got a fridge down there. Yeah, we have uh, kind of everything like uh, at home. A uh, fridge here, then there is the... The toilet here, and we and a shower. And the shower, yeah. That is a very posh van. Yeah, <laughs> it's very comfortable. Then there is the like king size bed. Uh, no, no, not very big, but uh, very comfortable. And uh, then the kitchen and everything we have here. The, uh, and all gas powered. Yeah. Okay, nice. Now, uh, have you ever seen MTV Cribs before? No. Okay, so there's this show where rich people show around their house and okay. what they always do is they go straight to the fridge to check out what's in the fridge. Okay. So can we see what's in Stefano Gasolfi's fridge? I'm imagining beer, kebabs... Uh... Yeah, a lot of beers and... <laughs> <laughs> no, they're just a lot of healthy food. Because it is a very healthy fridge. Uh, there's some eggs, we've got, uh, we've got some tomato sauce, avocado. some rice, an avocado. It, it all looks like frighteningly healthy. How important is that as a pro athlete to be able to do that on the road and maintain that nutrition? Yeah, nutrition is yeah, very important. So I think to have a fridge is uh, crucial for, uh, for uh, an athlete, yeah, for uh, eating stuff like not just uh, fast food or uh, eating uh, out uh, every day. I think it's important to cook your own stuff even before the competition and in the crag. The RFSC is set up so there's a lot of rounds now in Europe taking place. So how useful is it to have a home on the go and not just stay in hotels all the time? It's very useful because the, all my Itali the Italian team is uh, went back home between the competition between Villars and Chamonix. So I stayed here in the van. Uh, it's very, very nice because I don't have to drive back home. There's like four or five hours and then drive back uh, here in uh, like two days. Uh, so it's very useful. Then we stay probably here until Brianson and then the next one is uh, in Arco so we'll be at home. <laughs> I guess it gives you a little bit of home comfort as well, you know, with the pictures around you. If, and I've been to your house. This feels a bit like your house just away from home. Yeah, it's very similar but just more uh, little and with wheels. So you were talking earlier about how you had a van before this one. What was your first van slash climbing experience that you remember that made you think, wow, this is this is a good lifestyle? Uh, I used to have uh, one uh, very little van where I used to just uh, sleep and uh, there, yeah, there was a little kitchen and something, but it was uh, very comfortable. The first travel I did was in Spain mm -hmm. and I stayed there uh, 10 days without uh, paying any hotel or something, just uh, sleeping in the van and it was a uh, yeah, like a climbing lifestyle was perfect. We talked just before the camera was turned on because I was saying how I really want a van, but I'm rubbish at DIY stuff. Is that similar to you? Is that why you sort of bought one ready done? Yeah, we we decided to buy the uh, a ready made one because uh, yeah, I can I'm not able to to build a, a van. I'm very I'm good at, at climbing, but not at building stuff. So. 
So if you had to give any advice to people who are thinking about moving into the van lifestyle, what is a tip that you could give them uh, for doing that? Yeah, they have to choose the van. Uh, in like if they stay like one week or uh, around uh, some weeks around they could be just uh, smaller than this but uh, if you stay months or uh, decide to to move uh, for like six months or something i think this is the uh, the best fun mm. having a bit of room to stand up in yeah you can stand up then you have the the toilet then uh, you can sleep then there is the always the the bed ready if you are tired you can just go uh, so if you plan to stay more than one month, I think this is perfect. Cool man, well thank you so much for having me into your new home. Uh, it's awesome to see. In fact, it's baby ridiculously jealous. I kind of want one. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> and mate, best of luck in Chamonix for the IFSC and the rest of the season. Uh, you just came fourth in Vila. So yeah, fingers crossed for you man. Thank you, thank you very much. So that's it. Uh, if you want van life, you can join the host of other climbers doing it and maybe me one day. See you soon.